These are the moments that we need to make a whole behind the scenes documentary. Two and a half hours, not two, not one and a half, two and a half full. Like we're talking Dark Knight extra credit bonus disc. Adam and Corwin are playing games. They're both so stupid and lame. The show is going to hell. In a hand basket. And we're taking Nick with us. Hey there, interwebs. I'm Adam. That's Corwin. That's Nick, our special guest today when we're recording. We are jumping right back into Breath of the Wild. Breath of the, of the Wild. So, Look at that big old hammer. If you'll remember, we were just, uh, also, it, to not confuse people, I streamed between last play session and this one. And so that's why I'm considerably more badass than I used to be. Got and that. so now we're dealing with, uh, with, uh, John fish. Cena and fish race, racist over here. Fish racist. <laughs> wow. He she is fish is. racist. Is that wrong? He. She, she. As you dirty human. Mm. You on. came all the way here, but it, it was in vain. I have no desire to speak with you. I don't think that's the voice don't. I gave her. Listen well, Muzu. There is something you need to know. He who stands here. The man called Link is the one whom my sister Mifa had fallen for. Good grammar. Feelings for. good. Shut up. <laughs> I was only a child then, so I did not know it myself at the time. But it is so. I grew up hearing my father tell stories of uh, some of which were about my sister's dying love for Island and Link. What? No! no! Not mixing of the races! He-Man! <laughs> you cannot fool me with such a... F now it's just a fanciful lie, not this Zora. <laughs> it's just Skeletor now. How could Lady Mifa possibly have feelings for a Hylian like him? With his pointy ears and his fucking <laughs> The fact you he, he remembers nothing! Even, even when, when he looks, looks upon, upon Princess, Princess Mifa's statue! I remember she's fucking hot. She fucking it is the truth, Muzu. Though you never knew it, he was ever in Mifa's heart. I can't read today. <laughs> Link's like, I'm going to tap that taco right there. Mm. That's so, a nice trident you got there. I, th I see your head yeah. as a shark. That's intriguing. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm not going to lie. She's pretty hot. Like, she's a fish person, and it probably would involve just, like, her laying eggs and me swimming over and jerking it. But I mean, it, <gasps> what if she's bags? like, if she's like watching, that's still that. I think that still do it for me. I mean, cut scenes in this game. No Surely way, not. Those never happen. What is going on here? Is that you're on the giant whale? Yeah. All right. Oh, she's giving you a handy. Uh, yeah, you yeah, met, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a reckless child. The, the, Always get yourself hurt at every it. turn. Corwin, she let her let her oh, speak. Oh, is she speaking? Asshole. Oh, yeah, I forget oh. you're deaf. <laughs> yeah, I listen to my music guys. really loudly. Sure, blend the music. All you guys who listen to your music really loudly, a thousand. keep doing it. It's a good idea. Up so much Younger than you, Grandpa. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I, I admit to it. But I'm not a thousand. <laughs> I was always willing to heal your oh, wounds. Oh, yeah, heal the wounds. That's, yeah. what, that's what that's happening. Back in high yeah. school, they call that raising the chi. That's mostly because of anime. Yeah, but they were watching <laughs> animes, and they are like, let's raise your chi, and it really meant that they were going to bone you. That's like, that's like, that was like the girl's secret code. So if this calamity Ganon does... Oh, raising chi? You, know, you never had your chi raised? What can you really do? Uh, I'm not Get so your chi raised sometimes. How, how much do you know about stars? Mm. How much do you know about stars, Adam? I, I know enough about weird anime girls, but there aren't that many of them. So I don't think it's a... They are, they are if you hang out with the bandos. I was in band. Yeah, then you should know. Also, you are the only person that I like. You and people from your high school are the only person who have I've heard refer to people in the band as bandos. I hope you know. Yeah, they're bandos, man. They're, they're, yeah, that's you, you say that, but that's, that's what we that's a, called them. Uh, that's a stupid name. That's, I was I was a <laughs> bando a, commando. Yes, I remember. I remember. Because he told I was a me bando all commando. I was a commando. He was bandos. a roadie for the fucking marching band. I was a roadie, Which, and I was, I was in the marching crash. band, and I thought I was the epitome of lame, but. No, <laughs> this fucking guy. Oh, I'll carry your stuff, Mr. Trombone. Hey, I ran and got band-aids and people hurt themselves. I thrashed hard. I was a hype dude. You thrashed? I did. I, I thrashed. Band? I thrashed so hard to our percussion section. What's the matter, Link? My neck. Are you unwell? I'm not crazy. I'm just a little. Mm, you are quivering like a hatchling. Whatever is the matter? I, I remember. remember. I remember. Do you remember? What? Do not mistake me for a fool, Eileen. There's no way you remember her just now, when it is most convenient. 
I mean, I'm with the racist on that one. Yeah, that's fair. In any case, without any solid proof, I cannot possibly take you at your sword. <laughs> if you have any such proof, now is the time to show it. I want that and sound clip. Swap. I want that sound <laughs> clip of you being like, now I'm with the racist. Do so, and I, I shall tell you how to get those shock arrows. Yes, as well as anything else you wish to know. Um. Why is the racist holding out with his shock check arrows? Check out my dick. Smell my dick. Smells like Let fish. Let me smell your dick. That's how you know. <laughs> yes. Good God, that was terrible. Well, you never I'm ashamed of myself. You never Save your lies for another Zora. Without any solid proof, there's no choice. Blah, 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 blah. Lying scoundrel. If you have a truth, blah, 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 then prove it. Do so, and I'll tell you how to get the shock arrows. Is all anything else you wish to know. No, wait. I fucking... Oh, wait. Okay, yeah, I gotta put this thing on. What are you putting on? I gotta put on... Boom jams. Boom jams. See, and, like... This is one of the, one of the very few times where the game does not communicate well what it what it means for you to do. Muzu, look closely at the clothes Link is wearing. Hmm. Hm. HM, what ability am I going to teach you? Changing your clothes is going to make me calm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what in the? That is the Zora from before. Lady Mifa made that by hand, and yet it fits you so perfectly. What is the meaning of this? Now you understand, do you not? Wow, my god, this is so front heavy. I know. Now you know who her heart belonged to and she made the special armor for. The fact that this armor fits Link perfectly should be proof enough that Mifa made it for him and him alone. You have always disliked Hylians even before. Yeah, because you're a racist. This is why Mifa never told you. Now that you know, you must promise to help us, uh, the Muzu. <laughs> Please tell us where we can find the shock arrows we need, knowing you, I bet you were blah, 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 blah. So that's the thing, is that we're going through all of this shit to get the shock arrows. And in the course of streaming and farming for rupees and shit, I have a ton of shock arrows. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, okay, like, there's a little side quest up a mountain where uh, you're supposed to go and you fight this. Well, you either fight or sneak around this really powerful mini boss. And I don't want to do that. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see he's telling me about Shatterback Point where there's the, uh, the Lionel uh, that shoots shock arrows at you. And it's boring. Like, Look how shocked he looks. How, how, how is he You so must shocked? be what, Lionel! He's a man beast, that one. Oh, he knows. He That's would what they know. call Nick, right? <laughs> yeah, wow. <laughs> Does indeed wield shock arrows. Oh my god, okay. Yeah, viscous to be sure. In order to appease the divine beast, I estimate you will need at least 20 shock arrows. I did it with six in my, or no, 12 in my game. How'd you like that? Yeah. Fuck you, fish creature. Racist well, well, fish. what have we here? Seems you already have some shot. Oh, hey, sweet. The game is smart enough. <laughs> Still, if you need any more, you can always go to that mountain. Huh? Mountain? Side quest? If you want nah. to do it, it's an option. <laughs> Link! I'll be waiting for you at the East Reservoir Lake, right by the Divine Beast. You can you're do ready, it. Come join me there. I feel like he's such a positive, like, you can do it. They should, like, post pictures of him by, like, I don't know, the ER. <laughs> Oh or like, or like, or like a cancer ward. I was gonna ward. say like, like some place where like classrooms, he... or like at work where it's just like you know the, the hang in there, kitty. <laughs> fucking <laughs> ERs. Yeah. Well, come well, come fucking on. ERs. Where, where, where is it most important that you really hang in there and know you can do it? Okay, I gotta go over there. What do you say, I, Nick? I mean, I don't know about the hospital. I mean, I'm. Hmm. <laughs> Damn, like, that's, that's, yeah. Welcome to my life, Nick. Like, where you're just like, <laughs> I, I want to agree with him because he's my friend, yeah, but, but the reverse fuck, psychology, man. There, like, oh. jeez. <laughs> well, well, would would you rather hang up a poster that says "Meh, whatever, give up"? Like that doesn't feel like the best one. <laughs> it's not worth your time for trying. <laughs> <laughs> you probably can't do it. Graduation wasn't going to be fun anyway. You might oh, as well just, fuck just let it go. Shit. <laughs> So I got a story about that, actually, speaking uh, of these horrible hospitals oh, well, and missing no. graduation, since you, you know, brought up that traumatic past. Oh, You're going to wow. make me cry. So Good I, job. <laughs> yeah. Tell us about how your graduation was ruined. Well, basically, I've never actually broken a bone or been into a hospital until I was senior year of high school. I had an appendectomy. I didn't know I would had an now, appendectomy. Now, for, for those of our audience, I know what an ap appendectomy mm -hmm. is. But for those of our audience who don't know what that is, what is that? Uh, basically, it's when your uh, appendix decides to go, and it just explodes. And for those of us, those are, I mean, obviously, I know an appendix is, but for those of us who are like in the audience, what is an appendix? It's inside your body, and it's useless. It's a little, the, it's I know a, that I know what useless means, but for the audience who doesn't know, uh, what it's is, like Corwin. There you go. Okay. Uh, all right, I get it. 
I get it. And fuck you, but I get it. <laughs> you brought that <laughs> on yourself. That made it pretty obvious. Oh, gosh. All right, anyway, continue your story, man. I'm sorry. So mine actually didn't burst. Mine melted itself. What? So for That's a thing that can happen? Uh, it is a very rare case. Uh, my mother happened to be working for a surgeon at the time, so I got very lucky. Was how... she working for a surgeon, or was she working for a surgeon? Uh, he was like almost 80, so probably just working. Okay. He he was an older gentleman. He was on he was about to retire huh. almost. Uh, he had been working for a long time. He had his own practice and everything. But basically, it, it melted itself. So I just sat there in pain for two weeks, and I kind of just dealt with it. And like a man. Like oh god, like a man. I you know. <laughs> oh god, like a big burly man oh, with like, tattoos, like a man, and a sweaty chest. Oh, and, yes. oh what? I uh, back hair. Sorry, where am I? You're forgetting. You're forgetting the mullet. But yes, um, <laughs> mullet in the in the How chin. Oh, and the chin <laughs> pubes. Mm. <laughs> We've gone a Not little a off beard. track here. Not a beard. <laughs> chin pubes. Sorry. Anyway. Any whore. Um. I had it melted itself, so I went in and I was like, "Mom, I, I can't take this anymore. You got to take me to the hospital." We, I, you know, I got a, a CAT scan, and they're like, "Yeah, it melted itself." And I'm like, "What? It can do that?" And they're like, mm, "Maybe." You just don't know. Uh, this is the first case we've ever seen. Gotta love it when medical professionals are oh. just like, meh. Well, the doctor, Shit happens, yeah, bro. Pretty much that was what they said. They're just like, well, we kind of got to go remove it because it melted half of itself and it's just kind of sitting in your body right now. And I'm like, okay. So I go in for an appendix and, you know, I'm all doped up. So I start calling random people because my mom decided to leave my phone with me. And that's smart. <laughs> that's, oh, that's amazing. Awesome. I'm, I'm calling people at three in the morning crying, just like, I'm sorry. I never meant to do this to you. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What were you apologizing yeah, who for? Who were you calling? I don't know. People were, you know, I was just calling my friends or whatever at school because it was, you know, senior year. It was whoever would answer. And whatnot. Yeah. And yeah. So whoever would answer at three in the morning. Um. <laughs> So I was just like, I'm sorry, I never meant to do this to you. I apologize. And uh, basically, the moral of the story is that just go to your doctor when you when you don't feel too good. <laughs> when you when you're bedridden for a couple of days, just go to your doctor so you don't have to suffer. Yeah, and uh, that's... I missed a lot of. Uh, I didn't have to take a single final that year. Uh, nice. Leaf face. Yep. You didn't have to take a final that just year. Just gonna leave you alone. A single final. I got excused from all my finals because basically for the two weeks beforehand. Uh, all the studying, I was in and out of school. Yeah. And then I was out of school for about three days out of finals week. So I barely made it to graduation with, you know, my stomach all, you know, in wraps and everything. Cause, wow. Oh, well, yeah. And yeah. of course, by, like, by senior year, you, like, why bother at that yeah, point? Pretty much, yeah. Like, I mean, they're going to give it to you anyway. Glad I to mean, see you're ready to go, Link. It's actually the first year they made uh, seniors take finals. So, ugh. What? Yep. See, ours was just always early. I'm mm. good to go, you son of a bitch. We always took finals, period. Every sem every every year, end of the year, every grade. See, ours, it, like, it was always, like, two months early or something that the seniors... Well, like, the seniors actually finished school faster than gaze upon its back. Uh, we always... Fin like, the seniors always finished up, like, weeks earlier than everybody else for... I honestly don't know why. Seniors always like, got I can't like, remember it was what the like two weeks is. or one week uh, mm -hmm. early for us. Wasn't that long? Yeah, that was usually how it went. Yeah. And then they're like, "No, we have to make seniors take finals." And our entire grade was like, "Really? Now? Right now? You couldn't wait till next year?" So we all had to take finals. It was brutal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's. So I want us to focus a little bit on how I'm riding this fish man. You really are riding him. Mm-hmm. While he's like humping the water, the yeah, it's just like, mm, mm, and yeah. the hammer's smacking yeah. your ass. Yeah, work that, work that, that breaststroke. <laughs> All right, now I gotta do this thing. Oh, fuck you, bam, nice. wham. This is way harder than it looks, by the way. Sure it is. Okay, uh, nope, go away there, and then. Is this a boss fight? Boom! This is in order to gain access to. The whoop, shock what arrows. What are you doing? Missing. Uh, nope. Can't aim fast enough. Okay. Let's go. So what you got to do is you do that. Uh, whoop. Nope. Wrong button. Um. Nope. Uh, you do this and then you. No, I fucking shit. Okay. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Uh, you go up the waterfall and then you got to shoot the red things and that's. Turn that turns off the water and gives you access to the dungeon, which I will say, like this is one of the best. Like every every dungeon is interesting, 
and has a little mechanic like this where you have to do something cool, do something to, get cool to get in. No! Oh, fuck! Damn it. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's, everything's fine. Yeah. So every... Damn it. You have to do something interesting to get in each time. And like then some ice. each of uh, each of the dungeons has its own little mechanic to it. I feel like where... your hammer to that ice is like, don't break the ice. Oh, I love that game. game. Yeah, that game was great. That was the one with the, uh, that wasn't the one with like the wet tissues, right? What was that no, one? No, I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, wet know. tissues sounds like a terrible experience with your uncle. Like, there was, oh, oh, Jesus. Wow. <laughs> that got dark. Or the jugular. Um, Incredible. Yep, I really am. One more I really time. am something, aren't I? Oh fuck! Well, that looks like I forgot a how hard this gets. Yeah, that's also what nope. your uncle said, and that uh, oh. terrible. Oh no! It chases me. I forgot that. Okay, yeah, oh, we're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Unrelated. If you have an uncle, I'm really sorry. I'm sure he's a very nice dude. I have. I have many uncles actually. Oh. Do you have some a of them uncle? are cool? Some of them are. Uh, uh, so no, some of them have some what issues. I, I'm not gonna. No, I'm not gonna go any deeper into that. Uh, <laughs> like my nope, parents nope, actually nope. do watch the show sometimes, and uh, yep, yep, they do. <laughs> not gonna talk about Uncle Benny. <laughs> How did you know my uncle's name? <laughs> no, I'm yes. not. Again, again, we're not going any further down this line of thought. <laughs> Those are my tissues too. <laughs> Don't touch me on the leg, Corwin. Don't not on the me. leg. <laughs> Anywhere but the leg. What? 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 I'm already done with this side? God damn it! Alright, we're gonna gain access to this temple and then we'll end this episode. He just wanted another round on his back. Whoa. Come on now. Oh, I got that at the very last minute. Zing a dingy dick. Ricky dicky tabby. Zing a dingy dicky. One of my favorite no, things about Rick and Morty is the fact that Rick just. Wubba lubba dub dub! Yeah, he just says shit and he's like, yeah, it's my catchphrase. And I, just, I just feel like I want to do that all the time now. Yeah, that's that's one way to live your life, I guess. Just be as much like a Rick as you can. How, yeah. how else? You can't be an alcoholic. Right? Be I abusive mean, and crazy. Whenever you have a but, beer, you know, alcohol. Absolutely brilliant uh, scientist, so I guess it's not all bad. Is he, though? Yes. All right, is, is, this, is he, uh, like, a brilliant scientist, right, need, or does he I just have science waterfall. magic? Go to that waterfall. Yeah, okay. No, he has. It's science. It's a portal gun. It's interdimensional travel. I get. I and get it's all fucking that. Amazing. But I'm not always convinced that like. Oh, there you go. I'm not always convinced that what? Wow, that was astounding. An absolute thrill. Oh, you just made him squirt uh, everywhere, and he went flaccid. Oh my god, that actually is so fitting. Yeah. <laughs> Squirts everywhere and then goes limp. Well, the I next think we episode, can guys, that. Adam's yep. going to get into that dungeon. Yep. Um, considering how wet this ride was, uh, what do you guys think? Uh, are we super soakers or water balloon guys? Answer down below, and if, uh, eventually we'll record the right answers and give shout-outs to people who get it right. Uh, also, feel free to suggest games that you want to see us play down in the comments. Uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye, everybody. Zippy, zip-ad, zippy-doo-day. I'm going to stick with the wubble-wubble-dub-dub. Peace! <laughs>